This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Hands Across Hawthorne recorded by user Sanicaster. The material recorded is current as on the 11th of April, 2021. Hands Across Hawthorne from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Hands Across Hawthorne was a rally held at the Hawthorne Bridge in the American West Coast of Portland, Oregon on May 29, 2011. The demonstration was in response to an attack one week earlier on Brad Forkner and Christopher Rosevere, a gay male couple who had been holding hands while walking across the bridge. The assault was condemned by Portland's mayor, Sam Adams, and its police chief, Mike Reese, along and news of the attack spread be- throughout the pa- Pacific Northwest and the United States. The attack prompted volunteers from the Kia Center, a nonprofit organization that supports the LGBT community, to form street patrols as a means of monitoring Portland's downtown area. Several LGBT and human rights organizations sponsored Hands Across Hawthorne in response to the attack, with the purpose of linking hands across the entire span of the Hawthorne Bridge to sow solidarity. More than 4,000 people attended the rally, which had been publicized on a single Facebook page 72 hours previously. Forkner, Rosevere, Mayor Adams, and other community member leaders spoke at the rally. The event received attention throughout the United States. On June 5th, residents of Spokane, Washington, held a, a similar hand-holding rally called Hands Across Monroe, crossing the Monroe Street Bridge in Riverfront Park. This section is accompanied by an image. The caption reads, quote, Rally participants gathered on the Hawthorne Bridge, end quote. Contents. This article contains five sections with two subsections. Section 1, Background. Section 1.1, Hate Crimes in Portland. Section 1.2, Assault. Section 2, Rally. Section 3, See Also. Section 4, References. Section 5, External Links Section 1, Background Section 1.1, Hate Crimes in Portland Portland Police Bureau statistics showed a decrease in the number of biased crime assaults, or hate crimes, from 26 incidents in 2007 to 15 in 2009. In 2010, of just over 50 hate crime incidents reported in Portland, 20 involved gender or sexual orientation, far outnumbering racial hate crimes. In May 2010, a group of men in drag were harassed and assaulted by a group of five men. The filing of a police report resulted in a community forum at Portland's Q Center, a nonprofit organization supporting the LGBT community, which was attended by Portland Police Chief Mike Reese, Mayor Sam Adams, and Deputy District Attorney Rod Underhill, together with more than 100 city residents. The attacks led to the formation of the Queer Patrol, or Q Patrols, in July 2010, which consisted of foot patrols specifically designed to protect the LGBT community in downtown Portland. Sarah Merck of the Portland Mercury attributed the rise in the recorded number of hate crimes related to gender or sexual identity in 2010 to the increased number of filed police reports, due in part to the work of the Q Patrols. Hate crimes continued in the city. In November 2010, a man perceived to be gay was severely beaten and left unconscious while walking home in southeast Portland. According to the Portland Police, eight bias crimes were reported between January 1st and April 30th, 2011, half the number reported during the same period in 2010. Brad Forkner and Christopher Rosevere, aged 23 and 24 respectively, were attacked on the East Bag Esplanade on May 22nd, 2011 after holding hands while walking across the Hathorne Bridge in Portland, Oregon. Details of the attack were released by Portland Police on May 24th. Forkner and Rosevear said a group of five men followed them along, followed them from Tom McCall Waterfront Park along the bridge, then beat them as they came down a ramp along the Esplanade. According to the description released by the Portland Police, quote, as the couple walked They knew several men were behind them talking, laughing, and pointing, but they were not sure it was directed at them, end quote. Three of the five men attacked the couple from behind. Forkner was pushed into a railing and punched multiple times before breaking away to call 911. The attackers reportedly continued hitting Rosevere on the head, face, back, and ribs until Forkner was able to call for police help. 
Faulkner later recalled that he did not hear specific homophobic remarks, but believed the attackers may have been yelling in a foreign language. Faulkner had swelling on his face, and Rosevier required stitches in his lip. The victim said that several witnesses had, were nearby, but they did not offer help in any form. Police invested the case as a bias crime, noting the lack of provocation. As of December 2012, the five men who attacked Faulkner and Rosevier remain unidentified. The attack was reported by newspapers in the Pacific Northwest and by gay-oriented media outlets nationwide. Sam Adams, Portland's gay mayor, and police chief Mike Reese both spoke out against the attack. Adams said, quote, We seek to be the city of the most equal opportunity, and we can only be that city if all people are safe and have a sense of safety on our streets and in our parks. End quote. The Cascade AIDS Project, where Faulkner was the Pivot Center coordinator at the time, launched a Facebook campaign following the attack called Holding Hands in Solidarity, encouraging people to post pictures of hand holding. The Q Center also condemned the attack. The assault once again prompted Q Center volunteers to form Q patrols as a means of monitoring the streets and reporting hate crimes to police. Plans were made to have Q patrols available between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. until the weekend of Halloween. This section is accompanied by an image. The caption reads, quote, Rally participants crowd at the intersection of Tom McCall Waterfront Park, where the events leading to the attack began and the Hawthorne Bridge, end quote. Section 2. Rally. Following the attack, Basic Rights Oregon, abbreviated BRO Cascades AIDS Project, Pride Northwest, and the Q Center, lo and local churches organized a rally to link hands spanning the length of the Hawthorne Bridge to sow solidarity. The event was publicized by a single Facebook page created only 72 hours previously from the Cascade AIDS Project's hand holding photo gallery. Stephen Caswell, event organizer and Q Center board member reportedly, quote, thought of the action plan in the middle of the night and quickly posted the idea on Facebook, end quote. The organization Progressive Oregon, which advocates for progressivism within that state, also advertised the event. More than 4,000 people attended the event, which began at 7.30 p.m. Members of the Community of Welcoming Congregations a coalition of more than 100 congregations in Oregon that welcome members of the gay community and the Portland chapter of the Human Rights Campaign also attended the rally. As demonstrators gathered at the west end of the bridge, the rally began with speeches by Faulkner and Rosevier. Faulkner said that this was not the first time he had feared for his safety, nor did he expect it to be his last. Begin quotation. Thousands of people walk the streets of America, and yes, even Portland, feel like they are less than human, that their life is not as valued by society as their other, supposedly more normal peers. The effects of this internalized hatred are endless. They contribute to gang violence, to depression, to self-medicating via alcohol and drug abuse, to sexuality that people feel must be kept secret, explored in dark alleys and bathhouses, rather than openly and safely. How can we talk about keeping ourselves safe, about being healthy, about being loved, if we are doing so in secret, if we are hurting in silence? End quotation. Following Faulkner's speech, Basic Rights Oregon Executive Director Gina Frazzini thanked the couple, spoke of the symbolism of the hand-holding rally, and encouraged supporters to volunteer for the Q Patrol. During the rally, the crowd sang the Beatles' song, I Want to Hold Your Hand. According to Cassell, Hands Across Hathorne marked one of the first instances where Portland's major LGBT rights organizations worked together on an event rather than other than the Portland Pride Festival. Details of the rally were reported by various publications. The Huffington Post contributor Chuck Curry, a United Church of Christ minister from Portland, used the attack and rally to question the impact of conservative evangelical religion and other anti-gay rights organizations. Progressive Oregon and Just Out, an LGBT newspaper in, or in Portland, noted the failure of the city's largest newspaper, The Oregonian, to cover the rally. The former sent a letter and petition to the paper's publisher, N. Christian Anderson III, requesting fair and balanced coverage. Peter Badia, editor for The or Oregonian, responded to the criticism and petition signed by more than 1,400 people by saying that the paper's lack of coverage was a mistake caused by human error. One week after the rally, Mayor Sam Adams and his staff linked hands at Portland City Hall in solidarity. 
On June 5th, residents of Spokane, Washington, held a similar hand-holding rally in solidarity with the Portland community called Hands Across Monroe, crossing the Monroe Street Bridge in Riverfront Park. The event was sponsored by the LGBT Center. This section is accompanied by two images. The first image has the caption, quote, Hands Across Hawthorne, participants spanning the Hawthorne Bridge in Portland, Oregon on May 29, 2011, end quote. The second image has the caption, quote, Mayor Sam Adams speaking at the rally, end quote. Section 3, see also. This section suggests some Wikipedia articles for reading. The suggested articles are, 1. Hate crime laws in the United States. 2. History of violence against LGBT people in the United States. Section 4, references. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 5, external links. In addition to the above, several external links have been listed for finding additional information online. There is also a link to Wikimedia Commons, which has media relating to Hands Across Hawthorne. We have now come to the end of the spoken article, Hands Across Hawthorne. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphens sa slash 3.0.